and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Poros of the North. Um, we're going to be replaying this deck that we just played on Meme Tier Monday. We're going to play it again here because we got some updates to these Poro cards first. We have Braum now being just amazing, not only giving Braum power uh, that pumped up Braum, but now also being able to uh, um, summon Mighty Poros. Um, so this was a card we didn't have in last time. We had three Vi, three Sejuani. And so to, since you only have the ability to get the six uh, champions, then uh, we'll um, make room for three Braums by taking out two Vi's and one Sejuani. So that's going to be the champion numbers we're going to go with. And then, of course, Aurora Porealis, now costing six mana, makes that even better. And uh, Poro Herder, um, you know, being a two drop, that works out because that that um, helps free our, our uh, four mana slot because Braum now costs four. We have Professor Von Yip costing four. Um, it's nice to have the Poro Herder going down to two mana. Um, so, you know, not, not to fill up that slot too much. So it'll be interesting. So, you know, one to play a Poro deck. Um, and uh, also, hey, Iron Alien, first time on Twitch. Awesome. Thanks for joining. And Murd, everybody. Uh, and Tom, uh, let's see. Wanted to play a Poro deck, but I didn't want to play, like, a lot of people are playing, like, the Poro version with um, Lux right now, basically because uh, they like playing Aurora Porealis with Lux. Six mana burst is always good to have with Lux. But that deck isn't really a Poro deck. It basically just has, like, just this card and Braum, and that's kind of about it. That's not really a Poro deck. I wanted to play a real Poro deck. You know, go hard, hard of the fluff, our Poro snacks, our other Poro. So that's what that's what we're going to be doing here. So decide to to bring this deck back. All right, let's go play some games. Uh, we're going to go play five games over in ranked uh, using our arcade board. Um, I know the arcade board isn't everybody's favorite, but we had a we had to change the board request for the arcade boards. So we're going there. I, I personally like the arcade board myself a lot, but for some reason, peop it's kind of a, um, it's a board that not everybody loves. Hey, Nanual. All right, let's play some real Poros. All right, we're going to mulligan the five and six mana cards. Try again. And Daniel. Got everybody in here today on this Friday. Love it. I hope y'all are having a good start to your weekend. We'll be trying... Has anybody really tried the gauntlet thing yet? I think the gauntlet for us in the US, I think the gauntlet will be live in like 20 minutes, I think. Um, so we'll probably do some gauntlets on tomorrow's, uh, tomorrow's stream. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's worth it. Okay, yeah, so in like 18 minutes for us. One of the gauntlets open. You're playing it right now, so is there any entry fee? This question number one. I'm not going to save the Daring Poro. I'm sorry, Daring Poro. But I'm not going to save it. I would rather have Elixir of Iron <coughs> saved up to help protect Starless here. Alright, looks like Braum is on the job. That's what I said. Hmm. My one shared spoil is that that Poro is punishing me for not keeping it. Good 
That seems like a good use for the Mystic Shot. It's gonna be mana that I'm not spending anyway. Still attacking. I was gonna say. Daring Poro. Hmm. Yeah, come on in. No. That was my, that's why I didn't play it immediately. I was considering, I was like, are they going to play Ruination? I was like, finally, I was like, no, probably not. So yeah, come on in, but. Uh. Yeah, that was. That was backbreaking. Even if I just didn't play that Daring Poro, then, you know, I would have been able to play the Daring Poro. Or, you know, I should have just gone to attacks. I'd have like the shared spoils and stuff. I should have just gone to attacks. Um. Bow to no one. Yeah, if I would have had like more followers in hand, we could have um could have still did a bunch. Prove your worth. Leave no survivors. Yeah, when you're playing a slower Shadow Isles deck, we talked about this with the Ash Harrowing. When you're playing a, sh a slower Shadow Isles deck, especially with like the amount of Braum kind of around and everything right now, I think that uh, one of Ruination is just a necessity in a deck list. I mean, that kind of helps. It gives us multiple blockers. But I will not. Just spending the mana. Okay, so we are required to block. Prove your worth. Fight like the animal you are. There, there, and there. I wish I could, you know, obviously I wish I could switch these, but the fearsome have to block with the 3-3, three, three, but obviously it'd be a lot better if I could switch those. We need to draw Aurora Porealis. Nest, I don't have like a deal one to everything card. My true no, I mean, this is probably just over. Is beneath the skin. No. Our strength is yours. 
No, that Ruination just destroyed me. I played into it real hard. And then they had a great follow-up to the Ruination. GG's. They left me alone. Uh, Ruination is one of those game-winning cards. That's alright. We'll go to the next one. You live, you learn. Learn to don't walk into ruination so easily. That's what I learned there. Okay. Could keep all this. I'll give this a try. I'm gonna one drop. I'm not sure about like Koro snacks. But that's like something that. We should be prioritizing early on in the game. We're basically, yes. Yeah, like, I, I'm not sure. But I certainly like Braum, and I like Mystic Shot on Lucian. But I like Braum, and I like uh, Elixir of Iron to help protect Braum. Boo. That just means Brom's gonna take that out in a little bit. I could take five, or I could block with Elixir of Iron <clears throat> and not take five damage. No room for doubt. Go ahead, scare me. Okay, that's smart. They're saying I can kill Lucian. Stand behind Rome. But if I do, they get this thing, so. Um, sorry, Daring Poro. <laughs> But I don't think that's a bad trade. Trading Dar Daring Poro for Lucian, plus they level up Senna. That's not the worst trade. Alright, so I want to Fury and take one of these things out. While it feels like I need to take out Senna, this misfortune is looming. For a snack? Quite worried about this misfortune, but you know, thinking about like how Senna is basically just going to be us, us having to chump block Senna every single turn, and kind of looking at the cards that we have, that's just not going to be an option that's going to be too viable over the long haul. Okay. 
Gosh, that card is great. Doesn't look good. We call on the heart of the fluffed. Help us out. 8 8 overwhelm. Time. So they're likely going to challenge Braum again, but that would give us another Mighty Poro because of the bullets from Misfortune. So we do get another Mighty Poro here. And now, now we can kind of attack with a bunch of Overwhelm. <laughs> Attack with you also. Sure. I command you to halt. This would be a good winter. That's going to be a lot of damage. Come down to two. Dude, Brawl making these mighty Poros is big. Like, seriously, Brawl made three mighty Poros. One, one mighty Poro made this Heart of the Fluffed a lot bigger. These other two mighty Poros, you know, we traded with a 5-5 a five five Moose. And got another 5-5 five five over here. Hey, good job, Daniel. You went 7 0 in the gauntlet. Congrats. Yes, another Heart of the Flift. Yeah, they kind of have leveled up Misfortune. Yeah, that's kind of bad. That's not not great. I also have I don't know, this thing that's what like a 2020? 1919. I also have a 1919 overwhelm. So that's pretty cool. So that's pretty cool. Their pride will cost them. Yeah, I guess my my play is kind of poor. I mean, well, I mean, yeah, I guess the, I guess that decision's bad if they play a bunch more attackers. I have I have this I have this taken care of. Fresh out of mercy. Right, they can't kill me here. So yeah, I guess it matters if they can win this turn or not, which I guess they can't. I was just too it's just too exciting to play a 20, you know, to play a 1919. <laughs> it's too it's too tempting. Gauntlet's pretty boring. So there's no so there's nothing with the gauntlet, like there's no entry fee, there's no like other prizes besides so there's just no other prizes at all besides just the icon. And there's just And it's just you can play as many as you want. My shield is yours. Yeah. 
Ah, uh, yeah, they're the rally. Oh yeah, you get you get the XP boost. That's true. Okay, you get the XP boost. So like, is it op? It's okay. It's not. Uh, it's twenty seconds. It's gonna open. Not open yet. Yeah, I probably could have played that game better. I probably didn't need to play that other nineteen nineteen. It could have just you know played played another thing to go wide a little bit, but it's just too too difficult. Or it's too too tempting to play the 1919. That's why I wanted to challenge. You know, I got to either kill Misfortune or Senna. Looks like I probably should have just killed the Misfortune because the Misfortune level up. That was a tough call. It was a tough call of which one to to get rid of. Honestly. There is no lower difficulty. You can play the way to have a lower difficulty, I suppose, is to play against the AI instead of playing against other players. You win the icons like that you have like on your profile screen. All along, little ones. That's what you can win. Yeah, I suppose you could say lower rank is lower diff low difficulty. But I mean, if you're just starting, you can't like lower the difficulty from that. But yeah, that's a reasonable way to put it. I don't know if I care that much about this thing to save it. I don't think so. Ooh, Plunder Poro. That's a good Poro snack. Very good Poro snack. All right, now we're gonna get this plunder Poro with a couple of keywords. What do you got? Lifesteal and Challenger. <laughs> I like this Blunder Poro. It's so crazy. It's just, just like, what's it ever going to be? Yeah, we'll probably try the Gauntlet tomorrow on stream. Uh, all right. I want to get these Hearth Guards in play as early as possible. I want to be playing. Obviously, I play Hearthguard and then they play Nab. That's obviously how that works. Wow. I only got four things. These four cards over here. They're all mine. They should be mine. You 
Yeah, it's true. That was draw four. That is a very quick Twisted Fate leveling. Our strength is yours. Wow. Should've just gone to attackers. Today we fight as one. This is our homeland. I don't like this. I'm the one that's supposed to have Poros. And buff up my Poros. I don't like this. Yeah, Both Heimervai and Brom Vlad are very good at decks in the current metagame. Both good choices. I'm pretty happy with Brom Vlad. Um. Oh, an auspicious season. Our banner will lead the way. Ride onward. Gonna challenge the six one. Buy me a favorite loop. One good turn, hey friendo. That sounds good to me. No. They take this damage, this will be five damage. We go down to one. We got the mystic shots. Happens. Okay, and I'm not gonna cast like Elixir of Iron to try to save like Starlets here, and then they use removal over here. I just want, you know, if, if they say this damage can happen, I want this damage to, to happen. Because Noxus Bilge Water at one, I think that this Mystic Shot should be safe to finish the game, as far as I know. Yeah, Plunder Poro. Under Poro, best Poro. The few. I think we're safe. <laughs> Gotta have some more Poro snacks. All right, one and two with the Poros of the North. <laughs> I wish it was ten and, ten and two. 
GG's. They could have Citrus Courier, but yeah, they, it's their turn though. They don't have Plunder turned on. I mean, I guess they have the Warning Shots. They could have Warning. Yeah, they could just Warning Shot Citrus Courier. That is true. That was something they could have. Consideration. Um, I'm going to keep Hearth Guard. I like that card. Especially against Noxus Freljord. The sizing of everything should matter against Noxus Freljord. My eyes are just kind of bothering me. Sorry about that. Heart of the Flift. Dang. Triple Omen Hawk. Darius, the only champion over there. I don't know if they're playing like a Reckoning deck. Or what? Yeah, they're gonna have some beefy units incoming. I guess nobody. For the Empire. For the glory of Noxus. Oh, it's turn four. Hmm. Got something for him. Blessed by snow and stars. Get him, Starless here. Get him. Okay. We're doing pretty good now. Is yours. If they don't break, Dang. That thing's big too. So both of those had plus three, plus three from Omen Hawk. So that means there shouldn't be anything else that got any pluses from Omen Hawk. Right, like those are just the two things that got the plus three, plus three. Basically, just want to take the least amount of damage possible. Playing that Fury of the North is a, you know, kill Darius and gain four. I want to give them a chance to play like a, a Darius. Yeah, big Sejuani is always good to have. It's done. That's okay. The winter's claw strikes. Um, these old eyes still. 
I want to play this Aurora Borealis and stuff, but it just feels like these other plays have been better for us. Okay. So now... Oh, man. Now we have Vi. Stand and fight! Attack! Oh no! We don't get to go Aurora Porealis and stuff. Yeah, we're gonna play Porealis, get the two Poro snacks, play both Poro snacks, grow those things. Oh, is I gonna be able to flip Sejuani that turn? I guess I didn't. I wasn't even really paying attention to leveling up Sejuani. Vimer. Well, I got Daring Poros. So I don't know who's winning this. But I am. Oh, yeah. I was going to check out some more Gauntlet. We're going to go look at that Gauntlet again. Forgot to do that. Yeah, I think. I mean, I I assume Gauntlet's good. I mean, I think it's just, as far as I know, it's free to play, and you get like an XP boost in it, um, and you can try to get seven wins. And if you get the seven wins, you get a cool icon. And if you just play it, you get a cool icon. It seems worth it. <laughs> Thanks, Horizon Sword. Yep. Try to try to always be dressed for success. I walk my path alone. Guess we go wide. Fast as wind, light as air. I could not play these daring poros, and then I get to play Porealis next turn. But it's like, what am I doing with that Porealis? We'll just attack. As fate wills. Yeah, it's just it's just not really worth playing that thing on turn four. Go with this, because then we'll go like Hearth Guard next turn, Sejuani next the turn after. They want a Will of Ionia by 1-1. One, one. It's fine with me. It's not the worst trade. Trading Fear of the North for that. That's not the worst trade. What seems to be the problem? Heimerdinger, you are the problem. You always are. That's so cool. We've not played against Heimerdinger with less than two Flash of Brilliance for a while. Do they only have one? Just the one. is 
I'm gonna try to take out Heimerdinger. It's not the most reliable. Not sure which one is a better challenge with, Hearthguard or Sejuani. Assuming they bounce. Sejuani, then Hearthgar, then both. Go Hearthguard. Yeah, there's like different things like Hearthguard's yeah, Hearthguard's cheaper to play to recast. And um like this way we we'd still get overwhelm damage in with this. Uh, but then again, Sejuani would give us like the challenge again for for Heimerdinger. But obviously, they're gonna have the <laughs> the best card they can have. There, that's just how it always works. Whatever's the best card they can have, they're gonna have that. No, I, I believe Gauntlet's for its other players. Like just other people that join Gauntlet's, you just play against other people that join. Yeah, that's a good call. I probably could have attacked with these three also. Prove your worth. I'm not going to have time to... But it's just the ideal hand, you know, Solitary Monk on turn 3 is awesome, and then, you know, Protect Solitary Monk and gain 4 life on turn 4, and then Heimerdinger plus make 2 turrets on, on turn 5. Protect Heimerdinger on 6, buy on 7. GG's. Gonna attack. If I must. Let's see what happens. There's the one two punch. Yeah, I mean y'all y'all know that this is my my least favorite card to play against, Heimer Dinger. Talk about that every time because every time it's just Heimer Dinger, multiple Flash of Brilliance. This time, this was the first time today it was only one Flash of Brilliance. First time the last couple of days it was just one.
And if only we had our mystic shots. <laughs> you know, like get excited, mystic shot, like that kind of stuff. That would be awesome. To finish this game out like that, that would be awesome. Beer summon overwhelm? Uh, that's not too helpful. Daring Poro. There's Daring Poro. Fast as wind, light as air. But a little late. Hit him where it hurts. Need to switch these two. I mean, unlikely that would work anyway. I mean, they just have. They just have lethal. They just challenge the six. Challenge the six health. It's lethal. Oh, so they're just gonna have burn spells. It'll be lethal anyway. But this could be as good winter. Oh well, we're still play being pretty pr pretty competitive with just poros though. <clears throat> Something that's not really the case before. You know, we went two and three, but you know, like we're you know fairly competitive with poros, which uh, you know that's something that's never been the case with this game. Poros have always been like the worst thing to be doing. Uh, I, I don't really know what that card... Yeah, I guess I don't know what that card is, Wakanda. Um, uh, but yeah, so there we go. There's Poros of the North. Went 2 and 3. We got Heimerdingered. Um, you know, but we were, we were 500 and then got Heimerdingered. Um, are Yetis better than Poros? No, actually not. <laughs> no, actually Poros are better than Yetis. Um... Yeah, the Poros, the Poros have looked pretty good. We we didn't have Braum hardly at all, right? We just had Braum the very first game. Is that right? We just didn't. Those last few games, I don't think we had. Yeah, we never like really had Braum those last few games. That's you know kind of like the the card that fills in our curve there, Braum and Von Yip. We never had, never played those the last few games. Um, yeah, the ruin, the ruination. Yeah, the ru Yeah, one of those games we just got ruinations. That was um, that was one that I could have maybe played played around that a little better than I did. Yeah, the ruination game, that one hurt for sure. So I didn't have to like, yeah, I, I played into that more than I should have. I, we, if I would have just thought, okay, they they have ruination in hand, I could have played that completely differently. Like I didn't need to play the Sejuani when I did. I could have used Fury of the North to take down Hecarim. Yeah, I could have played that completely differently. And started taking over with Braum, forced the ruination, and then have like Sejuani daring pour of all the other stuff afterwards. Um, but yeah, so still, still definitely, definitely competitive. Um, wish we could have another Vi. Wish we could have two Vi's. Maybe the thing to do is just play two Braum, two Vi, two Sejuani. No, I like having all three Brahms. We just didn't do a very good job drawing Braum. Yeah, Braum was really good. All right, fun deck to play here, Poros of the North. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.